Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Popsy's so cute. Mm. Do this face. No, this. You got to scrunch your nose. Chihuahua. Popsy, 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 Popsy. Right, say bye, say hi. Say hi, vlog, hi, vlog. Hi, vlog, hi, vlog, 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 vlog. Smeg. Smeg. <laughs> Guys, I've come to get like a hair consultation, um, like to sort out my fucking yellow roots and oh my fucking god, I'm so nervous. I've driven like 45 minutes and I just got beeped and I feel like I'm going to be sick and my heart is pounding but I literally have one minute to go. So, I'll see you. This is me before my hair consultation. This is me oh, after my hair appointment, my hair consultation. Nothing's different. I literally just put my hair in a ponytail, but I'll tell you something for fucking sure. I went in and I, oh my God, I was like, I was scared because basically, you know, my hair's not in like the best of conditions and like, it's very yellow and my roots have started growing through and it's just, it's a whole thing, isn't it? It's a whole fucking thing. So I was just basically saying what I like. She's booked up till the end of September for Saturdays until the middle of June for weekdays, especially for what I need. And then she was like, oh, I have a cancellation on Tuesday and I was like okay I'll take it I'll take it she says with literally zero pounds well not literally zero pounds but also not you know I just when I get my fucking grubby little paws and something I would I I take it so I'm now getting my hair done on Tuesday do you know what I mean so yeah that was the outcome of that hello the drive here was so stressful and now I've got to drive back I have to drive back Let's see how long Waze is saying it's gonna take me. It's gonna be like 45 minutes. It is exactly 45 minutes. Oh my God. I actually CBA. I CBA. CBA. I'm literally as well, I'm like committing. Oh my God. I don't think he knows that I'm literally in my car. Um, I'm gonna eat a 12 bar. I am committing as well to getting my scalp bleached every six weeks. Hello. That is a lot of commitment from me. I have so much chocolate in my teeth and I've got no water in it. I'm not good at like, I say this after I've just agreed to do something like the highest maintenance thing to my hair, but I'm not good at like maintaining things. But my hair, I love being blonde, right? Like I love it. I love being blonde, but like not this blonde, like icy white blonde, blonde, blonde. So I'm going to commit to it. Fuck it. Don't threaten me with a good time. Do you know what I mean? But I need to drive home now and I need to break this news to my parents. My mum's going to be like WTF, but I'm going to be like, bae, ruffle, rolling on the floor, laughing and crying. Lol. <laughs> Which way is it? Lol. Wait, watch this. I'm going to be home in three. <laughs> th home in three, two. Oh my God, I'm sat here in anticipation. Emancipation. I don't even have emancipation anymore because I'm over the age of 18, right? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sat here in anticipation waiting for the alert to go off on my phone because it's almost three. I'm so nervous. I haven't even thought about it all day. I'm just so nervous now. Now that I think about it. <gasps> You guys, I'm doing something so serious, so grown up, and ble oh my god, bloody legit, if nothing else. I am, um, I'm checking me and my dad in to our flights because we're going away next Thursday and I am elated. I'm so excited because guess what? I've got another weird bout of anxiety on my hands. Yes. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. Actually, let me tell you why. Money, money, anxiety, so real so real real and raw and just not very kind i don't like money anxiety but i do it to myself because i'm so bad at saving money so then when i have to spend money that i almost certainly don't have oh it's on site it's on site um oh fuck sorry easy jet this is i'm so bad at like double guessing myself when i'm like entering important information as well i just had to reference my arm to know what year my dad was fucking born this is bad. This is criminally bad. I've just got such bad anxiety about money at the moment, which is because I'm getting my hair done. And like, realistically, I can't afford it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. 
lol um but i'm getting paid next week it's all fine it's all fine and i'm dropping a day at work so i'm going down to three days a week so that i can like spend more time on youtube and my podcast which is why i want to do more than anything but then i just get so worried because then i'm like oh my god and then i'm not making as much money and money is just something that like money anxiety if you know you know and if you don't who doesn't have money anxiety i don't think rich people watch my videos so i feel like everyone watching this might relate who can relate Woo! i've been on a low i've been taking my time I feel like I'm out of my mind. I feel like my life ain't mine. Who can relate? Woo! Sorry. What was the logic in that? <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Anyway, um, yeah. And every time, I just have a new suspicious sneaky feeling every day that someone's annoyed at me. And I don't care if people don't like me. Like, let's not get that confused. But if, like, someone in my personal life, I feel like they're being a bit off with me. Like, I... I was just, I was speaking to Michael on FaceTime and Michael is just tired, right? He's just tired. The boy's just tired. He just needs to cap, cap? <laughs> yeah, he does cap. Um, he just needs to catch a couple Z's, you know, count a few sheep if you will. I'm just convinced he hates me. I don't know why. I don't know what I would have done. I'm just convinced he's annoyed at me and he hates me. Is he? Probably not. I don't think he's, I don't think he's capable of truly hating someone. Um, but I'm convinced of it, yeah. But I just think that's, that's un like unfixed trauma why well, say fixed unsorted not healed what i'm i'm spewing like a thesaurus right now basically i just think it's trauma that i haven't properly healed from from my ex-boyfriend um because i always i'm always so like paranoid especially with mikey that he's annoyed at me and i, I don't know where it comes from but i was thinking about it the other day and i was like i think it's from fucking you know who thou should not be named let's call him voldemort I think it's from Voldy Pants. I think it's from him. But, fun fact, a lady that comes into my work came in the other day and she was telling me about her day and I was like, oh, like, what do you do? And she was like, oh, I'm a therapist. And I was like, slay, I kind of need therapy. Tell me more. And she, fuck, my ankle. Oh, or not even my arm ankle, my leg ankle. Oh, that hurt. And she was like, well, what are you looking for from therapy? And I just basically just spilled. I just spilled everywhere. I was like, well, basically I was abused. And she was like, yeah. I know someone for you and I was like and it's like half the price of the therapy I was already looking at Mi casa es tu casa win win yeah I haven't worn socks all day today how weird is that how weird is that but yeah I'm hot as well I'm warm I'm fucking burning up high heels red dress red dress also I cannot stop watching Britain's you know what I did to myself the other day I watched so many Britain's Got Talent and like X Factor and the voice auditions and I just sat there and I was like I am talentless I'm talentless I have no talent talent I hardly know her I don't have any um so then I just started singing I do this all the time because Michael was always like oh you're a good singer and I'm like me when I lie no I'm not and then I started singing and I was like yeah there's nothing special about my singing like maybe I can carry a tune but there's nothing like oh my god those pipes where'd you get them sail rail you know what I mean so I was like maybe I'd do stand up and then I was like I don't think I'm actually that funny like I'd like to be really funny maybe I am funny but I just have no confidence and I'd love to do stand up this is something I really wanted to do this year and I was like I'm gonna hold myself to it and guess what I haven't done that but not the point irrelevant also the weather at the moment has just been such ass. it's literally been like a bit of fucking shit hanging out from someone's ass. it's been ass, and I hate it so I'm so excited to go away because I feel like I just need to reset Beep. I just need to lay in the sun drinking Fanta Orange. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can literally feel it going down my throat. Um, okay. Um, yeah. All this shit with the doctors being denied a blood test. Money. Worried that everyone in my life hates me. Does everyone hate me or do I just need to go to sleep? I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm just stressing. I'm bugging for no reason. And I'm literally fine. I know I'm fine. But I'm, I'm also delusional. So there's that. I need to tidy my room so bad. I literally haven't even finished fucking checking in yet. When is my birthday? Hi heels. My my fucking fucking you get you get a fucking passport and it doesn't expire for ten years. I got my passport. Oh my god, do you wanna know a fun fact? Actually a really really sad fact about my passport. I was meant to go to Paris in the December of twenty 20 or 2021 and i didn't end up going because of covid um and so i booked well, well booked paris and i was like paris we oui, we oui, baguette let's go um fuck it and then i was like getting so geared up i was like woo paris yes and then um i was like wait where's my passport and i found it and it had been expired for like three years not three maybe two maybe one i'm so dramatic oh i'm me Zing Grace. 
How sweet the sound. So then I had to like fucking FedEx like quickify like oh my god please get this fucking passport bus into my door right now i didn't leave like the 10 weeks you're supposed to leave and i was like oh my god i'm gonna have to go knocking on their door being like please please please, please give me a fucking like a proper tip for my passport and i didn't i purposely didn't pay the more expensive one either because i was like of course it'll be here this says up to 10 weeks but then obviously there's like passport strikes and it was like the holiday season and i was like oh and so i was like fuck i should have just like oh by the way this was 2021 because my passport picture is me ginger sorry girl kills her entire family that is what that fucking picture is given imagine right my mum in like my year five school picture my mum goes you look so like victoria beckham and i was like i don't know what that looks like and she was like you just look uncomfortable and i was like what do you mean and she was like victoria beckham smiles sometimes she doesn't look like she's really smiling I don't even know if she said that, but she said I looked like Victoria Beckham, and I was like, posh spice, nah babe, polvo spice. Anyway, basically, the moral of the story, I could lay a brick in my pants at any given moment, but I'm gonna try not to. Oh my god, it's only Sunday today, I thought it was Monday. Monday. It's Monday. Um, yeah. Also, so glad I got my new passport before the Queen, like, dropped off, because I didn't want His Majesty's. I've got her majesties because a queen is what we deserve in this country sorry sorry king charles cavalier but it's true also someone at work the other day asked me if i had any plans for the king's coronation and i was literally stood there like i don't even know what it is so i had to pull up my calendar like my personal calendar find out what it was and then i was like oh no like i don't really celebrate it and he was like you know no me neither because he was like a lot older and i was like i just completely forgot those people that like actually go up their way to celebrate it and like tesco have like bunting and like inflatable crowns i'm nothing's happening in my life so why have we got inflatable crowns also my mum's cooking a roast tonight and even though i'm vegetarian i've been vegetarian for almost four months now how mad is that my mum does like a big fat bus in roast with like yorkshire puddings stuffing just for me because I'm vegetarian. Um, roast potatoes, cabbage, broccoli, carrot, parsnips today. Full Monty. <laughs> anyway. Oh, you see the flames, you bend your pants on. You guys, I feel like I. Oh my god, my dad. My dad was like, let's not pay to choose where we sit. But the idea of not sitting next to my dad on this flight is making me feel a bit feral. But it's like £32 altogether for like both flights for me and him to choose where we sit. And it's like, it's more than that. 9, 18, 27, 36 pounds. Where do you get off EasyJet? Where do you, this is my first time going with EasyJet. Darling, how am I head? Okay, no, time to stop. I just filmed, oh, that angle's fun. I just filmed the podcast episode before I had, what? Oh my god. Did I just fart? I think so. Before I filmed a podcast episode, I ate a p -p 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 penguin biscuit. Mmm, 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 delicious. Um, these were my notes. I love writing my notes before a podcast. If I don't write notes before a podcast, I literally have no idea what to say. Like, I have so much to say, but then if I don't write it all down, then I don't know everything I need to say, and then I get all flustered. I get flustered, babes. But yeah, just just from the podcast episode i have a really bad headache i'm ngl i'm not gonna lie i have a really bad headache so guess what i might do go to bed because i'm getting my hair done tomorrow dropping a fucking mad amount of money on that because i'm an idiot well not i'm not an idiot but i just don't choose the right time to spend money because here's the thing right i don't mind paying like a good amount of money to get my hair done or whatever because if i'm getting it done to how i want it then why the fuck wouldn't i pay for it but I always just seem to do these things when I'm really short of money because I'm an idiot. It's in the name, do you know what I mean? But I'm really excited because the woman I'm going to see, she looks fucking lit. Um, I had obviously my consultation with her the other day and I've been like stalking all of her socials and I'm like, fuck, you look fucking good. So I'm quite excited. So yeah, I'll take you along for that tomorrow because I'm trying to just get as much intel as I can before I go on holiday. I've got to edit this vlog and a podcast before I go on holiday. Oh, don't pop up. I'm gonna have to do it after the hairdressers tomorrow if I'm not absolutely completely knackered from sitting on my arse all day. Do you know what I mean? I've got Wednesday as well because I go on holiday on Thursday. The day is currently Monday. I'm so tired. Why am I tired? I've laid in that bed all day rotting away watching Criminal Minds. I'm back in my Criminal Minds. Shit, I love that. Sorry to undress in front of you. Oh my fucking God, it's so warm in here. Maybe that's why I've got a headache. That's my shit. Also, I bought a dress for my friend Grace's 21st birthday party. And if there's 
one thing, sorry. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I don't wear dresses really. Not fancy dresses, but fancy dress. I like fancy dress to be fair. But a dress, I'm not showing you. Ha <laughs> ha. You'll have to wait and see. It's literally on the back of my door, but you'll have to wait and see until I wear it. But yeah, I'm just fucking, fucking, oh gosh, I almost fell off. I'm bloody cream crackered now. I'll tell you that much for sure. Might just lay in bed and watch another episode of Criminal Minds. Ah, it turned into something bigger. Who okay, what I need to do? Take a tablet. You know, I made that vlog saying I take vitamins now. Yeah, that was the only day I've taken them. Since that day, I haven't taken them once. I took them once. Spent 15 quid on them. I'm a fucking idiot. Here's the thing. I should drink squash more because that's more water than I've drank in the past six days. <sighs> How am I not dead? Why am I not dead? Oh, I need to go to bed. God, I feel absolutely weak. My appointment arrives at 11am, but I need to go to Sainsbury's beforehand to get a meal deal. So it's going to be an early start tomorrow, campers. So get an early night. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm bloody exhausted. My hair looks so flat and gross, so that's great that I'm getting that done tomorrow, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm so exhausted from being so perfect. See you in the morning, troops. Good morning, world. Good morning, Baltimore. Hi. I woke up this morning with a painful right nipple. It was my left nipple, and that's my right nipple. And it's like, I just know... Let me just examine. It's because of my nipple piercing, but I refuse to take them out. I refuse. The same way, even when my belly button piercing is like, definitely needs to be extinct. Like it needs to be gone. No, I'm not taking it out. I'm sorry. No, not happening. Anyway, good morning. I'm going to get my hair done today. Why am I nervous? I'm nervous because I feel like I won't have enough to eat with me. I haven't even got anything to eat yet. I'm going to go to the Casa S2 Sainsbury's. I'm going to go to Sainsbury's and get like a meal deal. I'm going to get some fucking chocolate covered pretzels. Oh God. Oh my God. They lay some chocolate, salt and crack. It is so good. So I'm going to get some of them and I need to get some euros because I'm going on holiday in like two days. Have I packed a single thing? No. Who's packing my bag for me? my mum <laughs> you know my hands are tied you, they're not but they could be because they are tied um i need to get ready i'm nervous i'm not even nervous but i am nervous i get nervous for everything though i always have a, uh, a few little nerves spare just in case but i need to get dressed am i dressed no i'm not dressed i'm shivering a little bit my legs have got goosebumps oh my god look how much squash i drank last night as well that counts okay that's like half of the bottle that counts as um what's the word i'm looking for here fucking water that counts as water because that is water i've had to dilute it with water so it's water so that's my new life hack if i want to drink more water i'm just gonna drink squash because i can't just drink water I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'd love to be a girly that can, but I simply can't. Simply. Also, oh my god, I bought new um, high heels. You know, I told you I bought a dress. I bought new high heels to go with it, and they're like the smallest heels ever. They're from fucking Public Desire. As soon as I bought them, I was like, this is a brand that people buy from, obviously. But like, this is like a well known brand, and I felt a bit like cool buying from them because I was like, oh my god, not me too. So, look at them. I don't know why I'm showing you. I just I just looked at them and I thought that's funny. I never ever ever wear heels and I've bought a pair of fucking heels. Um and my toes stay in them, which is great. But yeah, how fun is that? I bought a fucking pair of heels. I'm a size A. I'm like fucking Bigfoot. I'm like the fucking green man on the the tin of sweet corn. Was it called Green Giant? I'm like that guy. Look at that. They're quite nice though. Just just a little silver heel. How people wear heels for fun, maybe because I'm tall, so I don't need to, but even so, like, I don't think I could do it. I wore these for like 10 minutes yesterday trying on a dress and it made me want to kill myself and my feet. Oh, sorry, is that a bit dramatic? No, it's not. They were, oh my God, they're not even high either. These are like quite comfy compared to some heels I've worn. I've worn heels that are like big, like big heels. Fuck that. I can't do it. Saying that like I'd love a pair of red bottoms, but just to have them, just to say I have them, not to wear. Where the fuck would I wear them? With my joggers? No. Speaking of joggers, I need to go put a pair on. I'll be back. Feel away, feel away. I'm thinking I can never live without you by my side. I'm 
en route. But here's the thing, right? As fucking per usual, I'm running late. I literally was ready with like 40 minutes to spare. And yet still I somehow find a way to run late. If there's one thing about me, it is that I'm almost always running late. One day I will run to schedule, but I don't know if that day is today. Well, it will be because I've got plenty of time, she says. I'm about to break out in a rash. I've parked upstairs at Sainsbury's because I have no time to waste. <gasps> this feels illegal. If you know me. Oh my God. Oh, it hurts. I'm literally allergic to parking upstairs here. Literally. And to make matters like a thousand times worse, I'm pretty sure I've got a hole in the bottom of my sock. They hate to see a girl boss winning. Another example of I'm just a girl, I don't know what I'm doing, getting euros. That was a highly, highly stressful experience. And I literally just had to ask for euros. I think I make everything stressful by just by just being me, don't know though. Guys, I'm here, I made it with minutes to spare. Yet again, when will I learn to just leave a little bit earlier? Obviously not today, but alas, we made it. So yeah, let's go. This is what my hair looks like before. Crusty. Yeah, fuck. I was listening to Drake on the way here. I listened to the whole Mamma Mia soundtrack and then Drake's Feel No Ways. Let's go. Ooh, little Bob, let's go. Marinating, I'm marinating. I just ate them greens. Mm. You guys, don't look. I'm gonna show you my hair. Don't look. Don't look. Cover your eyes. Cover your eyes. Okay, I'm gonna show you in three, two, one. Don't look. Oh my fucking god, look at it. Now look, you can look now. If your eyes were covered, you can look now. You're safe. I'm not gonna hurt you. I would never hurt you. But you know what I mean? Are you joking? Oh my god, are you joking? I, so this is love. Mm -hmm. This is, this is awesome. This is delicious. This is gorgeous. This is everything I could have asked for and a little bit more. Are you joking? Look at my roots. No yellow. Oh my god. I am um, hashtag elated. This is this is how my hair should look all the time, all the time. And to ensure that, let's see, <coughs> it's in my mouth. Obviously, I'm going on holidays. Holiday, celebrate. Obviously, I'm going on holiday. So, bought some of this dry shampoo. The bloody fuck, purple shampoo. A similar tone to my bloody minion. But look at this. Are you joking? I'm obsessed i feel physically sick i'm so in love with it i don't care i love it also whilst i was there i haven't eaten much all day don't know why not like me but i did eat a whole bag of chocolate pretzels and i got some bloody flips i got um a meal deal this morning from sainsbury's because i had to go and get euros and I got this, I was going to get the cheese and tomato pasta and they didn't have any and I thought, fuck my life, I don't know what I'm going to get because vegetarian sandwiches aren't really it. And um, then I saw this mozzarella basil and tomato pasta pot. Shit was double decker bussin'. It was so good. So if you ever want to try something, if you want my rec, there you go, you've got it. Anyway, my nan has been knitting. Knitting or crocheting? I don't know. I'm going to take you over with me So because my nan literally lives across the road. Success. What? Score. Cutching. I don't know where I was going with that, but basically I'm going to go pick up the rats that she's either crocheted or knitted. I think she's knitted them. Or has she crocheted them? I'll find out. But basically she's been doing that so that we can start selling them as like a little bit of rat memorabilia and she's done loads. So I'm going to go pick them up and I thought I'd bring you with me so you can meet my wonderful Nana because I love her so much and she is awesome. She's perfect. So yeah, let's go. Top 10 moments of all time ever. This has got to be up there. Smash. Put on the white one because you've yeah. got the white uh, one. What was it? <laughs> yes, God. So we've got. Right, yeah. you show them. This is Nana. Hi. Say hi. Hi, hi vlog. Hi. Oh, hey, hey, hey God, God, you look got, so good. Uh, Reggie. Reggie. Yes. And Roland. Nice. Roland. I like this one. Yes. He is serving. That's Rafe. Right. <laughs> That's uh, Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> this is Harley Quinn. Huh. What? Yes, oh, Harley oh. Quinn rat. And this is uh, the next one, mate. And she's <laughs> going to be called she's Sugar. Hugging. I love this. Yeah. This, 
he's speaking to me. Do you know the, the rat with the hat that goes like yeah, that? Yeah, he's giving me <laughs> that. My name. <laughs> my God, please give me a break. Top threes, but you have to get rid of one. Um. Okay, first one. Uh -huh. Okay, chips. <laughs> chips. <laughs> Roast potatoes and jacket potatoes. This is hard. This is hard. <gasps> oh no. I'd have to get rid of I'd say jacket potatoes. I know. Hey. I don't I don't eat them as much Hater. as the others. I don't eat them as much. Okay, Nana, if you had to get rid of one yeah. out of jacket potato, roast potato and chips, which would you get rid of? <laughs> roast potatoes, I think. What? Because I, I eat jacket potatoes quite a lot. I eat jacket potatoes. I, I, I ate one every day after school in year 11. Really? I had a problem. Oh, I like them with the salad. I like so salad. do I. No, I don't eat them as much. Yeah, oh, see, I don't even I know which I'd get. It's on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, actually, I don't eat them as much. I don't eat them as much. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm trying to check my fucking tracking because guess what, right? My mum is saying to me, you need to pack clothes to go on holiday. And I was like, so true, babe, so true. I need to do that. So true. If there's one thing you're speaking right now, it's a God's honest truth. I was like, cool. Coolio Iglesias. I will, um, I'll do that. I fucking, I placed an order at an online store because I saw this fucking dress with cats all over it and I was like, I'm going to order that. And then I was like, oh, that's a perfect, perfect holiday outfit. It's still not fucking arrived and I want to take it on holiday with me. Plus I ordered a skirt. I know. Am I feeling all right? Obviously not. A skirt and a top and I want to take them with me as well. But I can't fucking take them with me if they're not here. So I'm hoping I'm fucking praying they come tomorrow because obviously tomorrow's the last day before I go. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to like, I don't eat even no there's a Bershka over there there's a Zara and a Mango and inevitably I am gonna spend quite a lot of money there hopefully if they've got nice stuff well not even hopefully but like I probably will spend money there like I'm gonna spend money that's inevitable have you met me I am so bad with money it's a joke it's not even a joke it's highly serious and it's worrying but it's a joke um so if they don't come I might just not take anything and pray that they have stuff the other side but this is a highly stressful experience and I'm telling you that for absolutely nothing babes. I bought a Lucasade this morning and I never drank it so now it's a bit warm. Chuck that bad boy in the fridge. But I've laid out, I'm going to say my hospital outfit, I've laid out my airport outfit, lovely, including socks, including socks. And I've packed majority of my airport bag. Do you want to see what's in it? Let me show you. Notebook and pen just in case I'm struck by some creative lightning. Don't hold your breath. A book that I'm halfway through reading and I'm going to make my dad take a bag, take the other book that I'm halfway through reading. Can I carry two books and everything else? And my talent and my beauty and my serve on my back? No, it's too heavy. So I've just got one with me. Steve can take the others. I've got all the important stuff. I've, I've said it once and I'll say it again. If I lose this, I will kill myself. Um, That's the God's honest truth. I am praying that parcel comes tomorrow. Fuck me, that cat dress will look so good if it fits. <sighs> Sorry. My purse. I show you everything, but I, I don't want anyone stealing my identity, so I can't show you that. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. My little miniature AirPods and the case for my big fat AirPods, but I need to leave these out, so I charge them. There is nothing worse than the fear that I have not charged my phone, my headphones, and my camera the night before going away on holiday. Um, but I've written a to-do list to make sure I do it, so hopefully I will be okay. Hopefully I will survive that trauma. Disposable camera! Um, after sun. I'm going for after sun on holiday. Is, oh, wow. Okay, that's fun. Nice. Um, my tripod. Awesome. Lovely stuff. Obviously, I'll put you in there as well, but I can't put you in there right now. I am talking to you. And then I've got my little bag, which has tampons in it, but it also contains my sunglasses because I'm very worried about putting them in a suitcase. I feel like they have to be on me at all times. And I am taking three pairs for a four-day trip, and I don't want to hear anything about it. If you know me, you know how much I love sunglasses. I hardly wear sunglasses because I'd like to wear sunglasses in the car, but guess what? If I'm driving, I need to wear my real glasses, otherwise I can't bloody see. How absolutely homophobic is that? To be fair, kind of to be expected because I think my dad is like almost blind. So, well, not almost, maybe partly. I don't know. I'll also obviously have my camera charger, my phone charger, my phone in there, you know, but I can't put that in there now. I'm sorry. If you didn't believe me about my fucking sunglasses obsession, look at this. Look at this. That is not normal. There is nothing about me, I don't think anything about me really screams normal, but that definitely doesn't scream normal. I'm obsessed with my hair. I'm gonna try- oh fuck. I'm gonna try and edit this vlog and my podcast for this week all tonight. Will it happen? I'm gonna say probably not. Will I end up watching Criminal Minds? <laughs> I'm gonna say probably. I'm also watching, I don't even know how to pronounce their name, Stanolio. I don't know how you say it, but I've been watching their videos because they are fucking jokes. I've got all the rats with me. I'm so overwhelmed right now. Being me is so exhausting. <laughs> don't make me drink alone. Don't make me drink alone. Don't make me drink alone.